Today I'd like to show you an Afro-Cuban rhythm called the cha-cha-cha. Now the cha-cha-cha is a four-beat rhythm, which means unlike some other Afro-Cuban styles where we read uh, two beats to the bar, the cha-cha-cha is uh, strictly a four beats to the bar uh, sort of groove. Uh, it's a very strong uh, sort of dance groove. It has a, a very specific dance that goes with it. Uh, but it's not that important to learn the dance moves just yet. We'll focus on the rhythms first. Um, you would have heard that it made, uh, makes use of a high-pitched cowbell as opposed to my low-pitched cowbell. Um, I was copying on the drum kit a conga part between my snare drum cross stick and high tom-tom. And also had a bass drum tumbao in there with it. So bass drum tumbao is a, a basically just means the bass drum rhythm that's commonly used in Afro-Cuban music and you can go see my lesson on um, how to develop your bass drum, your basic bass drum tumbaos. Uh, but this cha-cha-cha rhythm, this basic cha-cha-cha is going to be quite simple. Um, there's a lot of different variations but we're just going to look at the basic cha-cha-cha and maybe just a few ways to make it interesting. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing is uh, cowbell. Very simple, the cowbell simply plays four beats to the bar. On the one, on the two, on the three, and the four. Okay, let's look at the left hand part now. Again, I'm emulating a conga drummer in the left hand. I'm taking the conga drummer's slap tone, which is a, a short percussive accent, and I'm interpreting that uh, with a cross stick on the snare drum. Okay, um, the next tone we're copying from the congas is the open tone, in which uh, a conga player, similar to the slap, um, except it would rebound his fingers off the drum and allow it to resonate. So with that one, I picked the high tone because it's the closest sound to that open tone from the conga. So, where do they fall? Well, the slap falls on the two, and those two open, open tones fall on the four and the four and. So, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. Okay, let's put the, uh, the left hand part, or the conga part, together with the cowbell part. One and two and three and four and. Okay, let's move on to the bass drum part. Now, for my version of the cha cha cha, I like to play what I call a light bass drum tumbao. So, not the full bass drum tumbao uh, in my bass drum tumbao lesson, but the second exercise, which is a light version. Um, basically, we're just playing on the one and two and of every bar, um, as opposed to the full tumbao, which we also play on the four. But it's just the and of two in this particular groove. So let's play cowbell and bass drum, again with that light bass drum tumbao only. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so of course you do have the option of playing the full bass drum tumbao, uh, which would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so again, I prefer the lighter bass drum tumbao, but it's always good to practice both. So let's look at the hi-hat part. Uh, I play a few different pedal hi-hat parts with the cha-cha-cha. Uh, probably the standard uh, easiest one to get a hold of at first is uh, to simply play on every beat. So on the one, two, three and four, uh, basically copying the cowbell part exactly. So let's play the cowbell, pedal hi-hat and bass drum parts together. One and two and three and four and.
OK, um, let's try taking away the bass drum now. Uh, we'll keep in the pedal hi-hat and cowbell parts and add the, the left hand part or the, the conga voice. One and two and three and four and... And all together now. One and two and three and four and... Okay, now if you don't own a cowbell, you can also play the, uh, the cowbell rhythm of the cha-cha-cha on the ride cymbal bell. So let's give that a try. One and two and three and four and... Okay, let's just do one more variation to the cha-cha-cha and uh, that is to take away the, uh, the conga part or the left hand part uh, because sometimes if uh, two people are playing the same part uh, there might be some clashes or there might be not, not quite enough space uh, and groove in the music. So what we'll do instead of playing that left hand conga voice is uh, take that left hand and play the clave. Now I'm going to play the clave on a jam block because um, it gives a nice authentic sort of clave sound. Um, but you can also just play the clave as a acrostic part. So using that same technique, you might want to experiment with the, having your snares on or snares off. I actually like the sound of uh, the snares on for the, uh, the acrostic sound. But I'll take that, uh, those snares off for now because, again, I'm going to play on the jam block. So it's the full cha-cha-cha pattern. I will play on the cowbell, but in, again, instead of that left-hand conga voice, uh, just the 2-3 uh, son clave on the jam block. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And up to tempo now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the cha-cha-cha. Practice hard and I'll see you in the next lesson.